right, field piece, russet field piece sent over the uh, the new probes. Uh, we're gonna check those out, but I thought I'd start off by uh, showing uh, showing you them. They're thinner than the Testo Smart probes, and a little bit longer on these ones. We're gonna put the batteries in them. I got the screwdriver from the nest. We're gonna use. Oh, and there's all the batteries. And then there's the temperature probes. Get a good close-up on them. Get my thumb out of there. These are cool, and they look like dolphins. It's like a dolphin. So... Pretty cool. And then these are the uh, enthalpy probes. That's like the same housing as the pressure. And then uh, this comes out like this. The tips. So let's get the batteries in there. We'll see how putting the batteries in, how that goes. We'll do the battery for the enthalpy one first. So you're going to loosen this up. I'd already pre-loosened it. You lift up. It does have a little tab on the end there. It comes out. And then that's where the batteries go in. That's what the inside of the case looks like. And that's what that looks like. Get the batteries in there. Each probe only takes two batteries. Let we'll, me get this. Okay, screw then out. to do the batteries on the temperature probes, you loosen up the one screw in the middle there, which I've already done. Then you lift that out, and it's kind of the same setup. And then again, it'll be two batteries in there. And we'll get those in, and then we'll see what the pressure probes look like. Real easy for battery change out. Okay, and on the pressure probes is the same as the enthalpy. It's one screw. You lift up and pull out. Hey, you can see some... See what it looks like in there. Here's your switch. And the 45s. You get spare gaskets for in here. Comes with the kit. That's what she looks like. battery change out super easy you can see it rained last night look at the vent china's got a big old puddle in her there's a lot of water right there i gotta start i should look man i gotta get a new van one day this is funny Okay, I'm out here at a walk-in box. I right, just turned all the probes on. I just reached set point and turned off, so that's good. Um, I'm checking the app here on the iPad. So it looks like they've all they all found and they're all loaded up. So I'm going to turn the camera off. I'm going to hook up the outside ones, and then I'm going to put I want to put these the low side those and this one inside the walk-in box for a refrigeration test. We'll see if it works. It's got to go through this wall. Uh, that's the back door to the kitchen through this wall um, and then into the walk-in box and we'll see if it'll broadcast all the way out. If it does, this is going to be really cool for us refrigeration guys. So let's see how all this goes. Alright Phil, I got that temperature probe there. This pressure probe I'm going to have to go put out at the unit because I the liquid line solenoid's in the way of the probe, but I got the enthalpy probes inside the cooler here. You see this is the walk-in box. Later. 
and the condensing unit sits outside out there we'll come out here so there's the condensing unit the logging box is behind this wall into the kitchen and then to the box let's see what we got so far you can see the enthalpy probes are reading the box just pumped down and shut off but the fans are still running so it totally broadcasts outside uh, where's the low side temperature probe yeah right there so through the walking box to outside here no problems okay I got the unit running I've got the enthalpy probes in the box with this temperature probe um, I had to put the suction probe out here because I just didn't have room in, the, in that tiny coil. So there's my actual superheat and my subcooling. Um, the box just cycled back on so it's close to set point so I'm at a 12 degree superheat. I could live with that. 12 degree subcooling. Um, I need to punch in the correct CFM. I didn't punch in the correct CFM yet, but you can see my return air and my supply air temperatures here. Oh, I am out here at the condensing unit, and the walking box is through that wall. And it's over there. That's the walking box. So it's broadcasting out of the box through this wall and out here to where the condensing unit is. Um, can't do that with Testos. Alright, I'm going to try and film this. It's dumping rain, but this is the basic view of the app. And we'll start at the top left corner. You got your return air. Um, you have to enter, manually enter in your CFM. Then it'll give you your BTU capacity. You get your dry bulb and your wet bulb on your return air. Then on the top right, you get your supplier target dry bulb that's looking for because this app's made for air conditioning. Then you get your dry bulb and your wet bulb. You can hit the expand button right here to get more information, which we'll do that in a minute. And then we come down to our refrigeration side. So you get your suction line pressure coming down. You get your saturation. You get your temperature off your clamp right here. You get your actual superheat, your target superheat, the refrigerant you're using. You come over to the high side, you get your pressure, your liquid saturation, your temperature, your actual subcooling, your target, target subcooling, and you have to enter your outdoor dry bulb. Um, it's super simple. I like it. And then when you hit the expand up here, it will give you air side diagnostics. I really like this. Uh, and it's it'll tell you things of course I don't have it hooked on an air conditioner right now but it's just telling me what it's seen right here in the van um, dropping stuff there we go let me get that back up there I'm gonna hit the collapse button on that so it goes away and then here's our refrigeration side diagnostics which will be on the bottom and then anytime you want to collapse that you can just go back to a basic view then it also has electrical and it also has evacuation if you have some of their other tools that are wireless you can hook up let me get this closer and then evacuation uh that's for their wireless s mans and then there's this so the app's super basic super simple i thought i'd share that with you Not bad. I know a lot of us are used to the Testo app. This is not bad. This is really, really cool. Okay, here's my iPad. It uh, it does not have cellular built into it, and it is not on Wi-Fi. Just Bluetooth. You can see the Bluetooth icon right there by the 51%. The probes are way down there in the van, uh, my work van, way down there. I have a little dolphin clamp hooked up right there, 69 degrees. And one enthalpy clamp turned on in my van right there. Um, and I'll show you this real quick. I'll go to settings. Um, and you can see there's no Wi-Fi turned on. Wi-Fi not connected. And this old iPad does not have cellular built into it. 
There's no cellular in this Wi-Fi, um, in this iPad. So let's go back to the uh, Job Link app. Oh, come on, Dave. To wait for it to reconnect because I had turned the app off. There it goes. Bam, reconnected. And reconnected there. That's my iPad. Um, and then there's my van way down there. That's more than 300 feet, I can tell you that right now. Uh, it's all the way to the end of this parking lot, and I still got signal. Let's see how fast I can walk. I still, I'm still hooked up. I'm just trying to make a quick video here. Still hooked up, still connected, and my van's way down there. <laughs>